Royal Ascot uh, and, and also half representing New Zealand as well as Chris Waller uh, talked about, uh, Simon. He must be on cloud nine. Uh, there hasn't been too many jockeys that have experienced a 12 months like James McDonnell. And what we loved about it too was when he realised that the uh, horse that lobbed up outside him with about 50 to go had no jockey, <laughs> you could see him sort of soak it all up and want to really uh, remember every uh, last of the 10 strides. Well, I think as we were envisaging the race uh, so many times uh, before, this King Stan Stakes of 2022. We weren't exactly imagining Nature Strip. We, we could imagine him winning by three or four lengths, but not with a riderless horse uh, next to him. Great scenes at the presentation, and Australian racing fans uh, just lap it up because uh, we've done it for the fifth time. We've won our fifth King Stan Stakes and the seventh Royal Ascot winner for Australia and we've proven ourselves again uh, in the sprinting stakes. And even for James as we said it's his second uh, Royal Ascot winner expert I in 217. This might open up doors for him to become a bit more of a globe trotter as well in our off season period. It was a great uh, scene as he came back talking to Rishi Passad from ITV. He almost said it was a, the best feeling ever, but he has won a Melbourne Cup, Simo. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> and uh, Chris Wallace said top five, so there you go, very patriotic. We're going to take a break on Racing.com special coverage of Royal Ascot. Will we see the best miler in the world next Caribus in the St James's Palace? But let's just enjoy the scenes as Nature Strip reaches the winner's circle at Royal Ascot. Rod Lyons again, winning part owner of Nature Strip. Rod, you've had a little bit of time to digest that. What a horse and what a win. That was incredible. Mate, it was absolutely sensational. I've never been so nervous before a race and my guts, my guts were in a knot. And I, I just said to someone before, the last time I cried was when I lost my mum. And that was so emotional to me. Um, because I know how many people in Australia and New Zealand are watching it and that was special and I was really nervous that maybe he wouldn't live up to how good we were and when he did and it was a pretty painless watch really from the sort of 6 800 you knew they weren't going to run past him so James it was just a, a buzz and a half I can't believe what I just saw. He absolutely destroyed them mate you've won some nice races does this rate is that the most satisfying win as an owner of your career? Look I think so because where we are yeah you know, Royal Ascot, a Group 1, um, it's, yeah, it's a pinnacle of racing, whether we, we love Flemington, we love Ranwick, we love um, Eagle Farm and, and, and etc. But um, Royal Ascot is a pinnacle of racing, there's no doubt about it. Where else would we drop it, uh, dress in a top hat and tails and look so silly? You know, so it is, something, it is something fantastic. And to be here and the way they've looked after us and come all the way the other side of the world, and to take on the best in the world and then destroy him, it, it just left me you know, breathless. You know. we, we spoke about some of the owners before when we came up and had a chat to you before the race. Talk to me about Jack. I, I saw you wheeling him around in his, uh, in his wheelchair on, on Friday. He's, he's pretty crook, but he wasn't going to miss this. He's been diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. They gave him six or eight weeks to live. Then they've given him a couple of months and he was advised not to come here. But he said, I'm coming. He's a tough boy. And we love him. I've known Jack for... 40 odd years, it's like a brother, and we were going to carry him no matter what on our backs if we had to. Yep. And I think Nature Strip has kept him alive for as long as it has. Uh, he's not well, we know, but I guarantee he'll be celebrating as much as anybody tonight. Amazing to see him here. Just quickly, it's obviously a discussion that you've got to have with Chris, but would you like to see him back on, on Saturday in the other group one? Well, Chris is going to have to do a bit of talk and a talk us out of it. You know, he said, uh, let's get through Tuesday. If he wins well and pulls up well, yeah, we, we, we might be a chance and see how he eats up tonight and get the vet to check him out. I mean, why wouldn't you run him after that? But Chris will make that decision. Well, um, we'll take whatever he says. Mate, for now, enjoy today. I'm stealing you away from the winning owner's room, so go grab a beer. I think this one's it's, on the it's Queen. A, it's a pleasure. No worries. Absolute pleasure. Rod Lyons there, guys. A very happy part owner of Nature Strip. Jane, not bad for a battling Kiwi, mate. Well done. Yeah, no, it was a phenomenal performance, wasn't it? But uh, everything just went smoothly. It was, it was just a joy to be out there. It was like an exercise gallop, and... Um, the way he popped away, he got into a rhythm pretty quickly and the way he went. Could you feel pretty early that he was on his game and, and he was going to take some beating? I, I, tell, you, I tell you what, after a furlong went, I was pretty confident we were in the right sort of zone that 
he was a comfortable, he was doing it well within himself and he was building all the way. So it was just a really smooth gallop. For you, you've won, you've won plenty of big races. You've won Melbourne Cups, Everests, you've, you've won here at Royal Ascot before. Where does this one rate? Oh, it's well up there, that's for sure. I was just saying to Caitlin, my partner, that it would just be the icing on the cake. Obviously, the Melbourne Cup's probably never going to be tumbled, but uh, and an Everest. But um, this is up, this is well up there. Obviously, it's such a long way to go. A lot of pressure because we can't just take him back to his box and regroup in two weeks' time. He's come a long way, but they've done a marvellous job with him. He's just in the zone, and he's been he's been going so well since he left Australia. And to share it with Chris as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you, we have a great relationship, and um, he just gets them right all the time. He leaves it to you, and um, and I, I leave it to Nature Strip. So we're a good combination. Just finally, connections are obviously going to have to make a tough decision whether they back up on Saturday. Would you would you hate to go up against him on home affairs? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it to them. It's obviously balls on their court, but um, we've got a well and well and truly good competitor there on uh, on Saturday, and um, I'm sure he'll run well as well. Right, enjoy this one. You got one more ride today. Thank go you. Get yeah. yeah. Cheers. Thanks. James McDonald, guys. Well done, uh, James. Both. We're going to have Chris Waller shortly, but let's just enjoy the moment once again. Our champion sprinter takes... way through the first couple of furlongs. Winter Power and Arecibo are over on the far side. Down the centre, Man of Promise leading the Royal Runner, Kings Lynn. Nature Strip right up there with Pontos and also making an international line on the stand side. Golden Pal, Aklam Express comes next with Equilateral. Twilight Calls is next as they make their way down inside the final couple of furlongs. Nature Strip has gone to the front in the King's stand. Golden Pal is done. Winter Power, Arecibo on the far side. Kings Lynn trying to get involved with Twilight Calls and tis marvellous. It's Nature Strip out clear in the King stand by two legs from Acklam Express. Twilight calls them behind these equilateral. Salute a world class sprinter. Nature Strip, a ripper in the King stand. Beat Twilight calls Acklam Express and behind those Munista made. Fantastic stuff. Nature Strip. Chris, how are you feeling, mate? That was from our position watching you. That was incredible. Yeah, it was great. It was a great, great spectacle for us and a very proud moment. Um, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes of all the teams back in Australia, around the country, what they do to make this possible for me and for our owners and, yeah, to fly the flag proudly for Australia and New Zealand, um, to see them come up the straight like that, it was, it, was, it was breathtaking. You know the horse better than anyone. When he sort of pinched that length, length and a half, two lengths, were you thinking, we're on here. Oh, I'm not really sure of the angles, and I was watching on TV just in the in the weighing room with Charlie Duckworth, and um, I think we had a good idea what was <laughs> happening, but we dare not get too far ahead of ourselves in this game. So, yeah, I haven't seen a replay yet, but um, I was just seeing the horses start to come under pressure beside him. And I thought, well, that's good. Is there something coming from back? No, there wasn't. How, how far is the winning post? How tough is this Ascot straight? I knew he had run a strong thousand. So there were all these emotions going through your mind. And then when he hit the line, it was just something special. We spoke to James about 20 minutes ago. Everest's Melbourne Cups, Cox Plates. For a battling Kiwi trainer like you, where does, uh, where does a Royal Ascot win rate? Um, it's right up there. It, it's so hard to quantify these, these great moments in, in racing and uh, in sport. So um, it's, a, it's been a blast. It's something we'll be remembered for. It's something we'll remember for the rest of our lives. And the, the whole experience is, is something that we'll go back on and say, gee, that's right up there with the very best. But you can't quantify a Melbourne Cup, a Cox Plate, a Neverest, and, and so many other like great wins that I've been lucky to achieve um, through a great team. So thanks to the team and, and what you guys do at home and girls around 
Australia is, is second to I'm sure a few of them are watching and have to get up in, uh, in a couple of hours' time for, for work. Just quickly, job done today. You go and celebrate. Can you make it a double in the, the Platinum Jubilee on, um, on Saturday? Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting question. Obviously, um, everyone wanted them to be there, but um, they'll want them to run every week as well. So, look, he's done his job. We particularly chose this race for the reason we thought he'd be sharp. We all know how well he races fresh. So um, he's got nothing left to achieve at yep. Proof. He still is going to go back to Australia and race. Um, I don't want to take a flat horse on the plane. I want to take a horse to say I'm proud. I've yep. just wanted, by a good margin, at Royal Ascot. Uh, you destroyed them. It was a big yeah, margin. Yeah, yeah. And it's a tough 1,200. Like, he's, he's as good as any and I'd, over 1,200, and maybe it's a suspicious distance, but this is a tough straight. So, look, I think it's unlikely, but don't ever write him off no. for backing up. Um, I don't want to put words in people's mouths or affect betting, but um, he's done a great job today. Even if he doesn't line up, he still can win the double because Home Affairs goes there. Everything's, everything's good with him well, three or four days yeah, out? Yeah, everything's great. He's had the exact same preparation. Um, from the trials back in Sydney, the jump outs in Sydney, the jump out down the straight at Flemington, travelled together, they've just done everything perfectly well, they've got the same form. So look, it's not easy for a three-year-old colt, and again we mentioned the 1200 metre straight, but everything's gone to play. From everybody back home in, in Australia and, and New Zealand as well, mate, congratulations, go and enjoy it. Good job everyone, thanks for your support. way through the first couple of furlongs. Winter Power and Arecibo are over on the far side. Down the centre, Man of Promise leading the Royal Runner, Kings Lynn. Nature Strip right up there with Pontos and also making an international line on the stand side, Golden Pal. Aclam Express comes next with Equilateral. Twilight Calls is next as they make their way down inside the final couple of furlongs. Nature Strip has gone to the front in the King stand. Golden Pal is done. Winter Power, Arecibo on the far side. Kings Lynn trying to get involved with Twilight Calls and tis marvellous. It's Nature Strip out clearing the King stand by two lakes from Acklam Express. Twilight calls and behind these equilateral. Salute a world class sprinter. Nature strip. A ripper in the King stand. Beat Twilight calls Acklam Express and behind those Munista made. Fantastic stuff, Nature Strip. We're back up at the uh, the private box here with all Nature Strip's connections. Peter Keane, he's one of the part owners. Peter, you've had a bit of time to, uh, to take it all in and, and soak it up. How are you feeling? It's pretty surreal, to be honest. Um, I've been to Twickenham, I've been to Lords, now Royal Ascot, but to actually have some skin in the game of a horse that wins at Royal Ascot, it's, it's actually unbelievable. The atmosphere, the people, and the way that Nature Strip won, I, I think it's just amazing, and uh, we're just so happy and so thrilled that we made the trip. I want you to go back uh, a few years now. Do you remember the first time that... Uh that this horse came across your desk with a share in the horse. When did you sort of first get involved with him? Yeah, I remember the phone call. Um, a, a gentleman who owned the horse had fallen on tough times and 80% come, came up for sale. And Rod Lyons rang the normal ones. He normally rings us when he's had a few beers and said, I bought another horse. <laughs> but actually, this was serious. And so I said, I was in 15% and got 15%. And wow, what a horse. Did you ever imagine your wildest dreams, even when he was, you know, winning some of those nice races early on, that that you would be here in the top hat and tails, uh, representing, well, obviously Australia, but also the Kiwis back home in New Zealand? No, never, because he's pretty green as a young fella, but he's just he's got better with age, a bit like me, <laughs> you know. But no, still maturing, still maturing, <laughs> unbelievable though, isn't he? And uh, you know, he could have another year or so in him yet. So um, the way he brained him today, how good, how mate! Good. It was uh, it was massive. We're, here at the front of the, uh, the private box, and I imagine it's going to be a uh, one hell of a party. What, what do tonight's celebrations look like for you guys? Yeah, I think it might go on for a <laughs> while. Um, Kiwis and Aussies, as you know, enjoy a bit of a party, and we're so happy. But um, we're also so um, thankful to J-Mac, um, Chris Waller, and everyone else that's um, been involved with the horse, Charlie, and everyone. So we're pretty humble about it. As I said right at the start, surreal, but over the moon, over the moon. Wow. And um, thanks to everyone back home in New Zealand for being supportive, and everyone in Aussie as well. But everyone here today have treated us really well. I mean, we got a huge cheer when he won today, so we feel very privileged to be here. It was incredible, mate. We're pinching you away from the celebration, so run back in there, but make sure you have a beer for us. No, it's been lovely to have a chat, and um, thanks again. And who knows, we could be back Sunday. Amazing, mate. Peter Keane there, one of the part owners of Nature Strip, guys.
their way through the first couple of furlongs. Winter Power and Arecibo are over on the far side. Down the centre, Man of Promise leading the Royal Runner, Kings Lynn. Nature Strip right up there with Pontos and also making an international line on the stand side, Golden Pal. Aclam Express comes next with Equilateral. Twilight Calls is next as they make their way down inside the final couple of furlongs. Nature Strip has gone to the front in the King's stand. Golden Pal is done. Winter Power, Arecibo on the far side. Kings Lynn trying to get involved with Twilight Calls and tis marvellous. It's Nature Strip out clear in the King stand by two legs from Acklam Express. Twilight Calls and behind these Equilateral. Salute a world-class sprinter. Nature Strip, a ripper in the King stand. Beat Twilight Calls, Acklam Express and behind those Munista made. Fantastic stuff, Nature Strip.